if you're a producer or songwriter, a musician, and you're thinking about going into film scoring, I just thought I'd do this video to just sort of give you a glimpse into what this world is like. A lot of you have asked me on Instagram, how can I get into this field? How can I add this to my resume? So here we go. Of course, the obvious first question is, do I need to go to school for film scoring? I'm a bit biased because I actually did go to school for film scoring. I went to Berklee College of Music and that was an amazing experience. We learned things like orchestration, beat mapping, conducting orchestras, transposing melodies for various instruments. All of these things come with that formal training. Having said that, if you have a very, very strong knowledge of production and the ability to tell stories through music, I think you're well on your way into becoming a great composer for film. As a beginner, it's really important to understand the power of networking. And I don't just mean networking with directors and producers. There are so many other people involved in putting films together. You just never know who has influence enough to talk about you in a room where music might be needed for a film. You have to have a good portfolio of music. When I first started out, I was just writing and composing music. I didn't care whether I had a movie or not to compose for. If anyone needed to hear some film style music, they could. And I think a lot of people appreciated that in as much as I got a lot of no's, they were mostly about budgeting and blah, blah, blah. Not that I didn't have the skill. Start working on stuff because, you know, preparation meets opportunity at the end of the day. While I was still at Berkeley, we had the opportunity to intern in Los Angeles. Now, Berkeley is in Boston, so I had to secure a job even before I got to LA. And I had to have all these remote interviews <laughs> with potential bosses. Finally got a call with this potential employer and the first question he asked me was, so how much TV do you watch? I mean, not that much, like, you know, I'm focused on my work. I really have my head in the game. <laughs> And he was like, uh, well, that's not the answer I'm looking for. As a film composer, you have to be watching a lot of TV. You have to be analyzing film scores. You have to like understand like what's happening in the world of film music. You have to be looking at trends. You have to be looking at what is the sound of the times and what are people doing with music? How are they doing it? How are they achieving it with the technology that we have now? Blah, blah, blah. And of course, I didn't get the job. A few weeks later, I got a job at Paramount Pictures, which was an incredible experience. Don't be scared to watch TV and make sure that you're using it as an educational opportunity. How do they place the music? How do they place the soundtrack? How do they bring this instrument in? How do they take it out? I think that's a very, very good practice. People are still always in a rush. That kind of limits like how much time you have to actually do what you want to do with the score. You almost sort of have to work under pressure, know how to watch a movie for the first time and already have ideas as opposed to watching it a second and a third time so that the film music process starts a lot earlier than it would have if you had a bit more time and things were a lot calmer. I don't know whether it's because people don't pay enough attention into what goes into composing an original score for a film. With every industry, sometimes it's useful to do things for free at the start just to sort of get a foot through the door but um, there comes a time when, yes, you have to charge um, a certain amount that really reflects your worth because it is time consuming. A minute of music can take up to 60 minutes of composition. If you're a good collaborator, um, with the editor or with the sound guy, anybody in the post-production team, that really helps with getting your foot through the door for other projects down the line. Have legal representation, it goes a long way. It's very important that somebody is able to represent you with the right contracts and with the right conversations and the right negotiations so that you're not having to deal with that yourself. Are you thinking of going into film scoring? And has this helped? If you have any other questions, just let me know how I can help in the comments. And I'll see you in our next video.